everybody, the Gav here with ElderGeek.com. We're here on the Sony balcony here on the E3 show floor in 2010. I am with Randall Lowe, Sorry. the associate producer of uh, God of War Ghost of Sparta. You heard it here, God of War Ghost of Sparta for the PSP. Now we had the Chains of Olympus earlier on the PSP and that took place entirely before the first God of War. So where are we taking Kratos on this time on the PSP? This time Kratos is going to be on his adventure between God of War 1 and God of War 2. Okay, right on. So, um, what what kind of uh, story can you expect? Where are we going to be taking Kratos uh, through Greek mythology this time? Kratos is actually going to be on a more personal adventure this time, dealing with more things in his past, answering questions that have been brought up in God of War 3, and dealing with a lot of those things. You mentioned God of War 3. I heard that there's a lot of connectivity between the God of War 3 dev team and the Ghost of Sparta dev team in terms of this production. Do you think you could go a little bit of detail on that? Yeah, I mean, they, you know, as things were developed, they were passed between one team to the other. The, the teams work really well together, very closely as, as necessary in order to make sure things sync up and feel good, and feel the same between the games. So um, one thing that God of War is known for more than anything else is its gigantic, awesome boss fights, usually with some very creative Greek monsters from the Pantheon. So uh, can we expect any new monster types this time around, and can you tell us a little anything new about them? Well, I can tell you the, the first boss in God of War Ghost of Sparta is so big that it's actually able to eat whole. The boss from Chains of Olympus, it's so much larger. So everything about this game is going to be bigger, more, more dense, the whole game is going to be that way, and that's what people can look forward to. Wow, we, uh, you heard it here first. Now, uh, we've had Medusas, we've had Minotaurs, we've had Centaurs. Uh, do, or what are you pulling out of the Pantheon this time for Kratos to smash and kill and maim? Well, in the demo that we're seeing here, he's killing um, basically Poseidon's guardians, and they're protecting the city of Atlantis against Kratos. And so that's just one of the new monsters. At the end of the demo, you see Garion, uh, another mythical figure. Uh, with kind of the God of War twist on it and he has a, a giant lightning ball that he uses to teleport around the, the arena and, and drop it on top of enemies. It, it's pretty violent. Uh, I would sincerely hope so. This is God of War after all. But one of my favorite things about the series is the custom, uh, the customizable, upgradable weapons and magic. So what, uh, what can we expect here new for the uh, types of weapons and the types of spells we're going to be able to use with Kratos? Well, there's all sorts of new powers and new magic abilities. The ones that we have here today is the uh, Eye of Atlantis, the lightning power. Um, we also have the Spear and Shield, which I can't go into a whole lot of detail about, but there are a lot of neat new moves with it. Sounds, uh, sounds absolutely fantastic. Now, we've met pretty much almost all there is to meet on the Greek mythology, but um, are we meeting any more celebrities from um, uh, the Greek mythology as we know it? We've met Pandora. Uh, well, we've met everyone, but is there anyone left for us to meet in Ghost of Sparta? There's always somebody left. Any hands? Anyone? Can you tell me anything? Um, no, I think you'd best play the game and see it for yourself. Not even a riddle? Maybe uh, give it a... <laughs> I'm not quick enough to come up with riddles. <laughs> okay, well, last question then. When can we expect it out on our PSPs to be just brutal with Kratos again? This fall. <laughs>